Hey everyone, Jeff here from Our Paradise Falls, and I got a giant box here with me from Funko. I wonder what's inside. What I actually have inside this box is my exclusive team for the Funko Fun Days event. I had the option of picking one of four teams. There was Team Force, Team Rangers, Team Fury, and Team Punks. I actually chose the Team Punk, and once we get into this box here, I'll show you why. Let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. All right, so we got one box on top here. Let's open this guy first. We have our Fun Days Games 2021 with Freddy Funko right there, right on the front. A good look at all four teams that you could have chose. That was a little bit more difficult than what I was expecting. So what they did was they put this pop box inside of this box. So they put a box within a box. So I was trying to pull this out, but yet it was like, I don't know if it was just like sealed in there or like the, it just like compressed inside of there. But I tried pulling this out and it wouldn't come out. So I had to rip this box. So Funko, very confused of why you put a box in a box. I went with the Proto Punk team and the pop, the pop actually popped right out as soon as I was trying to get them out. And here is the pop itself, which is awesome. I'm super happy I went with this team. And the reason why I went with this team is I just got like an old school, like punk rock feel from it, which as you can tell, clearly that's what they were going for. And I love a lot of old punk rock. And I don't know, just the colors of it reminded me of like a uh, Bret Hart and also um, one of my favorite wrestlers is CM Punk. So it just, it's just kind of like a wrestling old school punk theme that I went with this. You can actually see on the back of this, uh, of his leather jacket is the Funko logo, the crown, and then on his belt buckle too, on the front. Spiky hair and everything. Really happy I went with this team. And I actually think this team was the second one to sell out. So the next thing that was sitting in there was this guy, and it's a little envelope, and I'm pretty sure I have an idea of what this is gonna be. Every box that you got, depending on the team, so the team pops were all different, but then you also got the same exclusives with it, just in your team colors. So I got the envelope open and we got a Proto Punks bandana, which is awesome. So each team got their own uh, respective colors or team that you chose. You got your own and bandana, which is cool. Got an inflatable Bam Bams. I have no idea what these things are. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know what a Bam Bam is, but they do say Team Punk on it. And you got your exclusive Fun Days Proto Punks pin. All right, so here's our last box, and I believe there's a couple things in here, so let's open up this guy and see what's inside. All right, so our first pop that we got, it's a two-pack. It's Marathi and Becker, the announcers for the Funko games. I'm not too sure who these guys are, so if you guys know, comment below and let me know. The next pop that we got in this box is Torchy, which is the torch that you carry, I guess, in the Olympics. So there's Torchy. So I got Torchy out of the box and oh, holding my torch. He's actually got some weight to him. He's pretty heavy, but it's really cool. The flames, like they have like a translucent orange on them, which is kind of cool. It would have been really cool if they made him glow in the dark. If the flames glowed in the dark, that'd be pretty cool. So there's the front of him there. And the last thing we got in the box is, I just saw recently Funko started doing this. Um, it is a pop podium. So you have an option of putting your fa three favorite pops on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, whoever won obviously has the Funko crown in the middle. And there you go. There is your podium base to display your Funko pops on. So as you can tell, I decided to put, well, at least these three on this base of how, in, in my order of ranking of how I like them. So definitely the Punk is number one, Torch is number two, and these uh, announcers, I have no idea where the hell they are, are number three. But that's not it. Do get all this amazing stuff in this box, but in a couple weeks, I'm also getting another box in with more mystery pops. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the future and see what mystery pops I got. Wow, is this what the future's like? So we went ahead and fast forward one week into the future and we finally got in our mystery box from the Funko Fun Days. So inside we have a blue shoe box. 
and I'm curious to see what's inside of here. There's been a lot of speculation, a lot of pictures going around on the internet, and there's a ton of different mystery item Freddy Funkos that people are receiving. I have no idea what's inside of here. I'm super anxious. There's a few of them that I want, so I'm hoping they're inside this box, so let's dive in here. So here we have it. We have our blue shoe box. I wonder if we have some Funko shoes in here, maybe some Funko sneakers. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's tear off this uh, packaging. The moment you all have been waiting for. We are about to find out right now what is inside this mystery box. So, unfortunately, it's not any of the ones I wanted, but it's okay, I guess. I will go into it. It's It actually might even be a set. All right, so we'll start with this guy first. We have the Olympian Freddy. This was limited to 2,000 pieces. Hmm, that one's okay. Then we have the bronze metal Freddy, and this one was limited to 3,000 pieces, and it's pretty much the same pop, this bronze. Well, like I said, I don't know if this is a set. And the last one, the most exclusive one we got, was limited to 1,000 pieces. It was the silver metal Freddy. So it looks like we got the Olympian Freddy, the bronze medal, and the silver all in one set. But really, there was a Hercules one, there was a Marty McFly one, but I just got all of the Olympian Freddies. So I guess it's kind of cool that I got the set maybe, but I'm extremely disappointed actually. So if there's any of you out there who are interested in these guys, comment below and let me know and maybe we can work on a trade or possibly selling them. All right, well, that's gonna wrap things up for my Funko Fun Days unboxing. Um, I was a little disappointed with the mystery box items, but hey, you know, you always can't win or you always can't get some really good ones. Out of everything that I got, including from the Fun Days items to the mystery box items, I still think that the Funko Punks by far the best thing that I got and uh, my favorite pop that's in here. And out of the mystery items, I'd probably go with the silver pop just because it's limited to a thousand pieces. I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys able to win a Funko Fun Days mystery box? What team did you go with? What did you get in your mystery box? Comment below and let me know. Also, what was your favorite part of this unboxing? What was your favorite item that I got? I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so that way you're notified when our family adventures go live, and make sure you give this video a big like. And always remember, adventures out there.